All right, so we're gonna be starting our fish drawing today. We're using a lot of value, so we're gonna be blending our colors, crayons or colored pencils work for that. And we're gonna be showing contrast as well. So we have the fish that's completely colored in, and then we have the black and white background. So we're gonna to start today by making our fish. We're using different shapes for our fish. You decide what your fish looks like. I'll walk you through some of the basics and you can kind of alter your ideas from there. Uh, and then I'll show you what we're doing next. So you can start in your sketchbook if you want to, or you can start on your final sheet of paper right away. Start with a pencil and draw really lightly, lightly to begin with. So I'm gonna start with the body shape, the basic body, not the tail, but the body. And you can start with maybe more circular if you want to, or you can do more oval. I'm gonna make mine more oval. Maybe draw a little bit lighter than I am. I'm drawing darker so that you can see a little bit better. Hopefully you can see my lines. Um, then I'm going to add on the tail. And the tail, I'm gonna actually start with a rectangle here to begin with because it grows out of the body. And then I'm gonna be putting on the end of the tail, whatever I want that to look like. So maybe I want it to look something like this. You decide. But I'm building my fish with shapes to start. Then I have the um, top fin, whatever I want that to look like. Again, the bottom fin. I might have a fin in here. Gills, eye. We're only gonna see one eye from this direction unless it's like a flounder or something. And I'm gonna put in some lips. Um, I like to have it, uh, the fish, if you've ever gone fishing or ever really seen fish, they have these fish lips that kind of stick out and they're, they're pretty cool actually. So here's my fish. I, I probably should have tried to make it a little bit bigger. It'd be good if you can have your stretch so it can touch the side. So I could still alter it. I could still make this be a little bit bigger here and then I could bring the eye over this way and I could bring those lips in here. I think I might do that just because I do want it to be a little bit bigger. Then once I have my idea, I'm not gonna worry about those extra lines that are there. Those aren't gonna bother me because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace the lines that I like right now with my Sharpie just for the outline of my fish. So I'm gonna start with the head here All right, I'm kind of done with my Sharpie, but I have to get rid of my extra lines and I have to put some other little details in, like the scales um, and maybe some of the lines where the fins are and those things. I'm gonna start first with an, a big eraser. Now I'm gonna add in my details, like scales and lines on the fins, anything else I think my fish might need. I'm not gonna make them so close together though. I wanna leave a little bit of space in between. Just give the impression of scales. Okay, now that I have my fish finished, now I get to start coloring it. I mentioned before that we're going to be using some value. So I didn't just do my fish one color. I used a lot of different colors and I layered my colors so that I started to make value. Value is the shading and that's the element of art that helps us make things look a little bit more three-dimensional, maybe a little bit more realistic. This is still pretty cartoony, but um, because I added in the value in it, it's not as cartoony as just a flat color. So I'll start with one color to begin with. You decide what it is. Um, I chose just a, what we might call a limited palette where I have just a few colors that I'm choosing and I'm not using them all everywhere either. I'll show you. We have to be kind of selective when we're mixing our colors or we might end up with um, kind of muddy colors, which is fine if that's what you want, but if that's not what you want, then you might be a little disappointed. So I started off with just one color to begin with. I just went through my entire fish and made it this one color. Now you might want to stop maybe halfway through so that it changes colors into something different.
All right, so we're gonna be adding the value in now. Um, this fish is done being colored, but it doesn't have value in it. It does have color transition, but again, it doesn't have value in it. Value is, uh, is the shading that starts to make something look a little bit three-dimensional. So by adding in a little bit darker colors here, it starts to make it look like it's rounded. So what I'm trying to imagine in my head is where the fish might have a shadow on it so that certain things on it stand out a little bit more, making it a little bit more three-dimensional. I'm gonna start with those lips. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a darker color than I already have. So I'm gonna have, I have this kind of magenta, we might call that, over here. I'm gonna grab a blue and just on the underneath, now it's a little bit harder with crayons. It's easier with colored pencils. Crayons, you don't always know where it's gonna go, but I'm just adding basically on the underneath of that shape. I'm not putting it across the whole thing. I'm just putting it where I think the shadow might be. So if the light, if I can imagine the light hitting the top of the fish, the top of the lips are gonna catch the light, the underneath are not. Now this lip is underneath, so this one is casting shadow on this one. So I'm even gonna see shadow here, if I can get this to work right. There we go. And then I might even see it on the underneath as well. So this one, I am gonna kinda see it wherever the Sharpie was. That's kind of a good rule too, if you wanna stick to that. <clears throat> as your rule, have your shadow be right next to your Sharpie line on one side. So again, I'm imagining the light coming from this direction. The shadow is being cast by each of the scales. Just a little bit right next to that Sharpie line. This might take a little bit, but good art takes time, remember? And the more we practice, the more we learn. I'm getting into the blue here, so I actually have to start pushing a little bit harder. And pretty soon, I might actually need to change my color. Now I'm gonna step it up a little bit with a little bit more shadow with a little bit of a darker color, another color inside there. Look at the difference, isn't that pretty? It's not because I drew it, it's just because I mixed the colors, that's it. You can do that too. All right, now I have the fins to do um, and maybe even the body part. You see here, I added it on the body and on the fins. I have lots of different colors in there, so let's get that done too. Now I'm done with my fish, um, we're gonna move on to the next part.